Hi everyone, the mini batch gradient descent is dividing the given entire data set into a uh, number of small batches randomly and then it will apply the optimization. The mini batch is a fixed number of training samples. The size of this mini batch should be less than the actual data set. For example, if you have a data set with a thousand samples, then we have to divide the um, mini batch less than the thousand. We should not take uh, all thousand into single batch if you take like that then it will become a, uh, a normal gradient descent algorithm so here we have to divide the uh, data set into mini batches or group of samples that size of the batch should be less than the given data set for example if you take the data set here with the table is having three features and the label which is having m number of samples the samples are dividing by uh, each batch is having two samples so like that we have divided so here each mini batch is passing into the neural network for each iteration then it will predict the output and after predicting the output calculating the cost then if there is error then it is computing the gradients in back propagation then it is updating the parameters then once this fight first iteration is over for this uh, number of samples the parameters are updated uh, uh, as of now then second mini batch is uh, uh, selected from the given data set so that will be passed into the next iteration then uh, based upon that a neural network is predicting the output then cost is calculated after calculating the cost for uh, this mini batch of samples the gradients are calculated then for, for this gradients then the parameters are updated so for each iteration we are taking a batch of samples and computing the gradient for each batch then based upon that uh, uh, gradients we are updating the parameters we have to repeat this until all the samples of the data set are passing into the network at various number of iterations so here the batch is divided into uh, uh, 10 number of samples each batch is having 10 number of samples and the data set size is 1000 we have to repeat this this is small i so i equal to 1 to 10 then 11 to 20 21 to 30 so here uh, 31 to uh, 40 then here 991 to 1000 so like that we are dividing the uh, mini batch so for each mini batch we are updating the parameters of uh, each and every uh, 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 feature here the a new w value equal to old w value minus alpha learning rate divided uh, into this is the important term we are taking the mini batch size 10 number of samples for the 10 number of samples here we are taking k equal to i to the i plus 9 okay so if if, if i equal to 1 means 1 plus 9 10 if it is uh, 11 means 11 plus 9 20 if it is uh, 19 uh, 91 means 91 plus 9 100 so 10 samples we are taking at each iteration then we are applying the actual output minus predicted output whole square into the uh, feature value which is associated with the w value for the k number of samples so the, like, like that we are updating the parameters for each and every mini batch then we are making the average for the this mini batch okay the this b is indicating that we are taking the average for mini batch of number of samples okay so this has to be done here for each and every mini batch so due to that for each epoch the gradient descent is fluctuating okay so you look at that there is no smooth curve in the stochastic gradient descent we got smooth curve as a uh, learning curve but here you look at that which is fluctuating right so due to this uh, mini batch or a gradient descent for each epoch the curve is not smooth okay so this is having a fluctuation in the learning curve due to that uh, small number of samples 
uh, use, using for updating the uh, gradients uh, at each iteration. So, which is updating the parameters frequently as well as which is using uh, vectorized implementation for faster computations. Uh, the uh, previous methods are not using the vectorized implementation and the mini batch is requiring the configuration of additional parameter which is called mini batch size in the program so it will take some time and memory space uh, to store the values so here the mini batch gradient descent is uh, giving you the fluctuation when you are having the uh, training of examples due to that uh, uh, updation of updation of parameters frequently thanks for watching